In the dark depths of the abandoned mine, Kai the Brash ventured alone. Torchlight flickered against the damp earthen walls, casting eerie shadows that danced like spirits. Fool, she had called him. Her biting words still rung in his ears. Do you honestly think I'd marry a wretched street rat like you? Kai clenched his jaw. I'll show them. I'll show them all. He swore under his breath. They whispered tales of these caverns and the treasure they still held. The mine's riches were never fully extracted. Too many miners had vanished, so they caved in the entrance. But Kai knew another way in. A hidden airway they missed. And there he was, tiptoeing down the musty tunnels. The acrid air made his lungs burn and his eyes water. Turning the bend, he found a fork in the tunnels, a stream trickling into a small spring to the right. He set his torch in a wall sconce and knelt on the slippery bank for a drink. The water tasted sour and coppery. It only irritated his throat even more. <coughs> Coughing and gagging, he lost his footing on the slippery slope, sliding further into the dark tunnel. Until he stopped, waist deep in muck. He reached for his bag and pulled out a torch, striking his flint and steel. The mire made his skin burn as he sank deeper and deeper. Finally, chest deep, the torch ignited. To Kai's horror, it wasn't mud he was sinking in. It was some kind of acrid ooze. He reached out, trying to find a handhold to pull himself free, but the sodden clay provided no grip. Panicking, Kai kicked and screamed and jabbed the thing with his torch. The gelatinous cube quivered and gurgled with pain, but it didn't slow. It enveloped Kai's head, his arm, and finally, the torch. Lungs burning with the need for air, all Kai could think of is how that infuriating girl, the beautiful daughter of Archmagi Thalor the Wise, she was right. He was a fool for coming here, a fool for demanding her hand as a reward. He should have taken the gold. He was vain, and he would pay for his arrogance with his life. <laughs>